Uh, oh, gosh, Becky, look at this bee. Oh, Trish, what are you doing? Don't you know the bees are disappearing? Good, they're annoying. I hope they die. Well, I see that you're eating almonds. Don't you know that you need bees to pollinate almonds? I mean, if we lose the bees, your prices are going to go up by a ton. Bees pollinate 30% of the crops we eat in the U.S. and are worth 15 to $20 billion each year. So if they continue to die off, you may not be able to afford these almonds anymore. Really? Well, how many are even dying? Why are they dying? Well, in 1944 we had 5.9 million managed colonies in the U.S., and in 2008 we had 2.3 million managed colonies, which is a huge loss. A disorder called colony collapse disorder causes these swift, huge bee losses because the bees don't return to their hive after winter. Well, why not? Well, scientists think it could be like fungi or pathogens or mites, but I'm thinking that it's probably pesticides in the U.S. causing these losses. Hmm. Has there been any research done about this? Um, yeah, actually I found... One study that gave bees small doses of pesticides and measured bee cluster size by counting how many frames of bees were left after a period from summer to spring. One study fed bees an infection and counted the amount of bees that were infected and the amount of pesticides in their pollen. I also found a study that gave bees pollen with pesticides and measured the bees' colony strength by counting bees in honey and pollen stores. Well, all that research is fine and good, but are they actually doing anything to change it? Yeah, actually more funding is, you know, being given to research because that's what we need to do to figure out the problem. From like the Farm Bill in 2008 allocated some money for research. Um, also, Europe banned neonicotinoids um, for two years, so hopefully wow. that'll help. Well, it sounds like this is a much bigger issue than I realized. I hope somebody does something. I hope we save the little bees. <laughs>